Ooh, what is up my friends? It has been way too long since I've been on here. I feel like what happened was life just got in the way and vlogging took the back burner. So I've done quite a few things since I've been on the last uh, video with you guys. I know I've been updating you on my thyroid medications and my hormone health and I'm going to start with that one since I just got news about it. So it has been three months now since I started my journey. Um, since that, if you guys want to go back and watch some of my other um, Rise Up series, it kind of goes over like my first blood tests, kind of how they changed, the food I was eating, the FODMAP diet, and nothing else has really changed since then. Right before I went on my trip about a month ago, I was actually down a few pounds and I went from starting with my medicine around 139 with horrible digestive issues down to almost one. 33 I was like 134 flat one morning then I went to Indiana and kind of ate like whatever I wanted for a whole 10 days and it really sucked so since I've been back I've been back on my diet for about two weeks now pretty perfectly and it's super easy to get back to because I just love the food I eat I mean it's super simple but it's it's what I love so I got my blood test results for my three months back, I accidentally took my thyroid medication too close to the draw, so they can't really read that. Um, hopefully, there's some changes, but what I'm doing with that is I'm just taking the same amount of um, medicine I was taking before for my thyroid. And then with my hormones, I am taking HCG, and which is like a way for your body to naturally start producing hormones, like to put it simply. And I actually am seeing some movement in my hormone health, which is so amazing, guys. I had a 5 testosterone whenever he tested me, and mine is up to 45. Um, um, I'm not really sure what happened with my estrone or estrogen and all and the progesterone, but he wants me to take another um, series of the HCG. So that's another 45 days of shots that I'm going to be taking. Um, and then he will do another draw here in about six weeks for that. I do have another draw for my thyroid in about a month, so I'll be updating you guys again if anything changes. Um, I am feeling a lot better. I'm sure if you like go back and watch my old videos, you're going to see a huge difference in like my demeanor and my energy and kind of just like how my face looks. I mean, I looked fucking rough, guys, and everything hurt, everything was swollen. I just was not in a good mood sometimes and just like I was just barely scraping by. So. I've been on this like journey as of late of just like figuring out my body and there's been so many things that have happened. So like I went to Indiana for 10 days, I hosted my first retreat for my Elevate You girls and that was just freaking fantastic. Like I don't even like, I don't even know how it happened, like how I'm here from where I was at the beginning of the year whenever it was just kind of like an idea. So. I just have to say thank you to everybody who was part of it. It was just freaking amazing and yeah, I'm just I'm super happy. Um, then I went, while I was in Indiana, my best friend got married. So shout out to Kelly, that was awesome. Um, I got to spend time with my, a few of my other best friends and it was just really, really awesome and it really filled me up. Um, the only thing I did poorly is my food. Like I still got my workouts in, everything was great. Just man, eating well the first half of the the trip was hard. So then um, I'm still working with my mentor Graham and about a couple months ago now um, I saw this opportunity with Ben Pakulski and I love muscle intelligence and I just I'm a huge fan of his podcast and I'm kind of just a fangirl of him and his mindset in general as silly as that sounds and I just really love his like tax tactics for training and there's this podcast and he was just like well, we're gonna do a mentorship and the same feeling that I got whenever I met Graham which is my current mentor I got whenever I heard this and like I just had to go to the website find his email send him an email um, lo and behold I was like a week late but he still let me in so I'm just like super super into everything I'm learning like it gosh it's from like mindset to posture to the workout mechanics to moving to mobility and stability and how to just be a better person business and it's just really great I'm meeting a lot of really nice people learning insane information I mean some of it is a little bit 
kind of almost out of my range even with like my degrees and my certifications it's still it's still tough so I'm just learning so much and to be honest I feel like I don't even know what exercise means anymore like I took biomechanics and some other stuff back in college but like this is just blowing my mind like blowing my mind because I think back then I just maybe didn't care so much and then like this information is new but it's also kind of some of the older stuff that I learned as well so it's just like crazy information and I can't wait to like start sharing it with you guys and I know I do a really poor job of sharing some of the knowledge and guys like I just found out like in this past couple of months that I had a problem with like a limiting belief and I'm huge into the mindset work like my mentorship is where my heart's at and my passion and I've been working on myself because to go deep with somebody else you have to be able to go deep with yourself and I just kind of came to the realization like I'm not dumb like I'm, I'm a smart person like I'm, I'm brilliant I'm smart I have knowledge it's just so crazy because everyone has like things that really hold them back and I just started seeing how much like that limiting belief was like manifesting in my day-to-day -day life and just holding me back from doing things that I really wanted to do so when that opportunity with Ben came up like I knew that this was gonna put me out in my comfort zone and I liked it because guys the only way to grow is to do something different than you've been doing before almost every time I decide to do something it's because I have a huge fear to not do it like that's the truth long story short I'm doing it I'm in it there's like another month left my birthday's coming up in like a week so that's really exciting I'm such a birthday person I think Michael surprised me with a new bed I have a couple girls competing this month and that's super exciting and I'm also hosting another boot camp so if you see this before the boot camp starts please let me know about the DM like it was so much fun and it's only gonna be $20 it's a 10 day boot camp daily videos mindset work uh, detox meal plan workout um, instructions and there's gonna be a little prize at the end of it but the whole point of it is to just build a community meet some really cool people and you know maybe see if you're interested in elevate you or working with me and you just don't know if this is a jump you want to take this is the time to test it out because essentially what you're getting is like a broken down miniature tiny clip of what elevate you is on top of that we're reading you're a badass by jen sincero and that's for book club so if you guys want a book club that's also going on I also just booked a trip with one of my clients and friends, Stephanie, and so I'm going to actually go see Gina first, so I'm flying out to Houston in September, mid-September, then I'm going to fly to Phoenix and stay with Stephanie, and then I'm going to see my coach, Sarah, and hang out with her for a little bit, and I'm just like super excited because we're going to do a huge tour around the West, and I love hiking, I love outdoors, so if you guys have any suggestions let me know i've already been to zion and bryce and a few other places like the green canyon and the re or the rim and yeah so i'm super freaking stoked new content to come newfound energy more confidence i'm loving it if you guys have any questions just send me a message and i will get to those all right so i just went grocery shopping and recently i've been really loving sprouts and if you guys have a sprout near you it is such a good price for um, nice fresh and organic foods um, I also go to Sam's Club because it is so much cheaper for me to buy my meats there I always buy the Sam's Club farmers fresh um, this one's an organic chicken has no antibiotics added and it cooks really nicely I usually buy ground turkey meat this one has the no antibiotics added as well from sam's club um it's a 93.7 normally i cook it and i drain whatever fat and i add water to it so those are some of the meats i also buy salmon and uh, raw agi tuna and tilapia fillets i just don't have any out at the moment but those are uh, the meat sources i stick to i also have my organic eggs and my egg whites that i buy from sam's club as well Moving on to a couple other things I got from Sam's Club. I love their Members Mark hummus. I'm just a huge fan of hummus and it is gluten free. There's only one or two like questionable things in it such as sunflower oil and the citric acid which aren't the best things to have. Really quick like just so you guys understand why I buy the foods I'm buying. So I'm not 
vegan, I'm not, uh, you know, carnivore, I'm obviously just in the normal, like, if it fits your macro style eating, except I don't take it to the extreme a lot of people take it to. I honestly eat mostly whole foods from the earth. If you guys are following me in my, like, thyroid journey, you definitely know that I can't eat many foods and I have a lot of insensitivities. So, right now, I am avoiding wheat. So I'm gluten free. I also avoid dairy and I also avoid soy products um, as well as simple sugar. So you're going to see how all my foods really gear towards those specific interests. Now, I think there's a really big misunderstanding between like what's the best diet for you. There's very few people that should be just vegan and there's very few people that should be carnivore. It all comes down to the microbiome and the epigenetics that you have in your body. A lot of people just eat and think they feel better a certain way, but it's really because they're cutting out something else. So the best way to eat is to get your foods from a whole source. Now when it comes to meat, egg whites, and that type of stuff is the best. If you get your fats, it's best to get them from animal proteins, or it's best to get it from olive oil and avocados. So the natural um, fats of the earth, which olive oil is derived from an olive. So it makes sense to get it from those things. Now if you're getting it from a lot of other sources, such as like things that shouldn't be pressed, like coconut oil is fine, but in moderation. So I really highly um, suggest buying like an olive oil that is packaged and sent and best used by it by a three to uh, five month date of packaging. If you don't do that, the polyphenols in your olive oil actually die and it loses a lot of its nutrient value. With all that being said, I buy all my foods to kind of fit like what if you guys want to look up, a rainbow diet kind of uh, looks like. I also make sure that I pick out prebiotic foods and I also pick out root vegetables and I also pick out um, just kind of a variation of colorful veggies. I'm going to go through and kind of tell you why I bought certain things that I bought and how it's good for you. So I'm just going to start with my grains. Um, right here I have my gluten-free bread. And honestly, this is just for me because I like eating bread and I think gluten-free products are kind of not the best for you because there's really nothing nothing in it that's that healthy. It's kind of just like turns into a paste in your stomach. I like this because it's fun and I like eating my avocado on it like avocado toast or if I ever want like some, you know, yummy snacks. I also got some, a little pack of coconut, um, pumpkin seed, and flaxseed uh, mixed with granola. This is um, sugar free and it's also gluten free. So everything's fine in moderation. Now I also have some organic uh, brown rice rice cakes. I use white rice. I use jasmine uh, particularly because I like the flavor. Brown rice just isn't as good for you as white rice. It has a lower glycemic index, but your body just doesn't absorb and break it down the way it breaks down white rice. So if you're wondering which one you should pick, pick the white rice. I also bought some red lentil pastas. This brand is the Tolerant Organic. Anyway, the reason why I got this is because one, it's gluten free and sometimes I really, really want some pasta and I can't necessarily have the gluten regular pastas just because it doesn't work with my body. The cool thing about this is it's high in protein and sometimes it's fun to pair this just with like a whole egg and some like good marinara sauce and go from there. So I have a couple of those. Leading into more of like a vegetable green, I have um, my sweet potatoes. Or actually these are red yams really everything just so you know is organic and like pesticide free because there's so much to learn about that and if you guys have questions let me know I also bought yucca root I really like yucca um, it's so so delicious and if you guys ever had it you will know what I'm talking about going on the root family I also buy rainbow carrots and I have some yellow beetroot um, the reason why I want to go with root vegetables is just because it's really good for your stomach lining. So I have digestive issues and people who are having digestive issues, make sure you're buying roots. Now, really quick, like tip, don't buy pre-cut root vegetables or carrots, etc. because once you cut them open, it like increases like kind of the risk of bringing in like toxic chemicals. They're very absorbent. So it's good to buy ones with the protective layer on the outside that aren't harmed yet. Now when it comes more into the carbs of fruit, I have myself some apple, mango, banana. I have some peaches and strawberries. 
as well as grapes. And grapes are really good for you too. They have some really amazing properties inside of them. I kind of buy the rainbow of colors. If you eat like five colorful vegetables or fruits a day, you're really getting in like a lot of the micronutrients that you need. So that's kind of a rule of thumb. Berries are awesome. So this time I have strawberries and, and grapes, but a lot of times I get blueberries, blackberries, etc. Um, so if there's not one you have to get. The last little carb source I got was this like Luna bar. And the reason why I got this is just because sometimes I want, you know, a treat. And for me, that's my treat. Going into a, pro, a prebiotic, I have some um, sauerkraut. Guys, you don't want to buy the cheap sauerkraut. You want to make sure you're getting um, the like wild fermented um, because if you get anything that's like pasteurized, then it kills all the good bacteria that's in it. So make sure you're not making that mistake and wasting your money. To end with some vegetables, I have my daily avocado, at least a half of one a day. I also have my olive oil in the cabinet. To end with that, I have some kale and some romaine, and I like making lettuces or wraps. I also have my tomatoes and my zucchini. So this is a side vegetable. This goes like on my salad. You guys will see that I don't get an abundance of like vegetables. I really just have my my lettuce, my carrots, my zucchini, and then I use like my tomatoes and my beetroot, just kind of as additives. There's no point to overbuy. Just buy what you need for the week. So all this food I just showed you, besides oh, the meat might last me a little bit longer, is going to last about a week worth of food. Lastly, what I want to add in is I bought lion's mane, which is an extract from the mushroom. And it's really good for memory, focus, health, creativity, and just becoming a little bit um, more on top of it. And I have squirrel brain, so this is going to be such a good superfood to add in. I also have my collagen from Bubs, and I use Vital Proteins uh, pre and post, as well as my Red Energy Blend Tea with ginger root, lemon, and bee pollen in the morning. So I'm really getting in as much um, micronutrients, macronutrients as I can, all from whole foods that aren't processed. Truly, the only thing that I'm eating right now that's processed is coming from my hummus, which I can make at home if I wanted to, from my red lentils, which are just one ingredient but still processed, and then my my little bit of carbs of my from my bread and my rice cakes and my granola. If you guys want to become a little bit healthier, really become more um, subjective about what you buy and why you're buying it, I have rule of thumb, make sure you're getting a prebiotic food in every day, a root vegetable food in every day, and about five different colors. For instance, my normal breakfast has half an avocado, a whole egg, egg whites, which are the purest and best source of protein in my opinion, and then I cut up two to three different vegetables or fruits. So in my normal breakfast, I'm going to include a banana, mango, and maybe strawberries. And then I'm going to have my avocado and my tomato. So you're going to, you, you start to see like how I incorporate all these in. And then like, let's say in my second meal or third meal, I just have my zucchini with carrots. And then in my other meal, I'll have my, my kale, and some of my tomatoes on top of it with some sweet potato. Everything just combines really easily and you don't need to overbuy, like I said, just buy what is necessary. Do research on your food. If you guys have questions on like where I'm finding this information, just let me know. I can lead you to extremely great podcasts or articles to read. I just really love this and I know how much like my body's changing and how much healthier I'm feeling by cutting out processed foods, heavy metals and all that other stuff. So I hope this helps a little bit. This is my grocery haul for the week. Pretty much everything I eat is right here besides my rice and my fish. So hope you guys have a great day. Go ahead and give me a like, follow, subscribe, whatever you want to do to support me. I'll really appreciate that. And I will talk to you guys later.